When you're working on one of these older GM cars, what's the right tool for taking out seat belt bolts and uh, seat stop bolts and even the strut bolts? Um, I've been working to uh, take out the interior trim and seats and so forth uh, so that I can take the carpet out. And I got stopped because when I went to take out the seat belts, I thought in my collection of torque sockets and so forth that I would have the right tool. But it turned out that I didn't have anything that would properly remove the, the bolts. Um, I managed to get one out on a car with uh, using a T50 and kind of tapping it in. But it really didn't, it really wasn't right. So I stopped. Uh, the job where I was and started searching for the right tool. So here's one of the seat belt bolts that I've already pulled out. Uh, if you start with a T50 and you try to get that T50 in, it just doesn't it just doesn't go. And you could probably force it, but you'll damage the fastener and probably even damage your tool. So T50 wasn't the right one. A T45 is just way too loose. It wallows around and you're liable to strip out either your tool or the fastener. There is something called a T47 and I actually had one in my kit that I had forgotten I had. Uh, these are little shorty ones that I use on the... Um, it's a set that I bought to use on the tuned port injection uh, to get in around uh, for some of the socket head screws and you can actually put a box wrench or an end wrench on these. Or you can put them in a socket and drive them that way. But anyway, so there's a T47. And the T47 seems like it might do the job. Um, but when I was working here, I didn't have it and I didn't try. I didn't realize I had it with me. So I went back uh, searching online looking for the right one. because. Uh, Torx has a number of series, and there's one that they call Torx Plus. Um, these are, so, you, you know, a Torx 50 is a T50. Uh, if it was a Torx Plus, it would be called a TP50, usually in their parts list. And I searched all over, and actually, they're not real common. Um, they have a different profile on the, on the teeth. Um, during the process of searching, I found one at Snap-on Tools. Now if you go back to the service manual, there are a couple of tools referenced in there that I believe are Kent Moore numbers, and I searched them, can't find them. Uh, I don't think they exist anymore. But Snap-on has something, uh, they call a 3 8 drive, and in their catalog, they actually, it's kind of uh, ambiguous. In one place they call it a T47, and in one place they call it a T50. But uh, the, on my shipping documents, it's called a 3 8 drive, T47, GM style bit, socket driver, 3 8 drive, and the part number is GFTX500, five, that's 500E, GFTX500E. And this dude, fits these bolts very nicely. And it fits these very nicely. And even, even though I took the strut bolts out when I was working on the hatch, using a T50 because it goes in very nicely, um, this special profile bolt uh, driver goes right in there and it's very nice. What I would say is different is, compared to a T50 or T47 is, the sides on this are almost completely straight and the thickness of the bit is wider. Here, I'm going to come out of the back of the car here and I'll show you the difference up close. So here's the fastener. That's what a seat belt bolt looks like. And here's what a, seat, what a T50 looks like. And it's a Craftsman version of a T50. And if you look at the end, look at an end-on view of it, 
you can kind of see the uh, the teeth are relatively narrow and pointed and so when you try to fit that in it just doesn't go I mean it goes just a it just barely wants to start just a few thousandths and then that's all you get and it turns um, here's my T47 and and it goes in and it probably would drive it but when you put torque on it it kinda wants to cam out it um, if you look at the teeth um, again the teeth are fairly narrow uh, they're fairly thin across here and they also have a taper to them in other words, they start out fairly wide, and as you go toward the tip, it gets narrower. So, you may be able to use that to get them out, but if you have a tight fastener, the, the, when you put torque on it, it wants to, wants to cam out. Now you take this snap-on guy, and if you look at the end of it, you, you'll see that the teeth across here are wider, and they don't have as much taper, if, if any taper at all. They're, they're very, very, try to get that in front of the camera. See, it's a very straight compared to this T47 that has a, um, that has a taper to it. So when you take this, um, so when you take this snap-on bit, and you put that in there it doesn't want to cam out it's it's got a, a t it's got a little bit of, sl of slop to it a little bit of looseness but it's a tight um, it, it doesn't want to cam out and back out and it's a it's firm and I even think it, it has a little bit of design so that if the you know think about it in terms of of an assembler in a in a, uh, in a plant putting a car together, right? And he's using power tools, and he's in a hurry. He's in a hurry. Um, your assembler in the plant is trying to build cars on schedule, right? He's only got a limited amount of time in station. So this one will go in, drive the fastener, and even if you're not quite perfectly aligned, it drives it very well, and it won't doesn't want to cam out. So. I'm going to keep using this one. Um, I have to say that it wasn't cheap. This was a um, uh, th this was thirty-eight dollars plus tax and shipping. Uh, they actually do sell the bare bit. Uh, I don't know if that's for um, uh, you know if you damaged one of these that you could replace the bit. But you can buy the bare bit for about twelve dollars, and perhaps you could drive it with your own socket if you had one. Um, you also can buy these on eBay. Uh, people are charging twenty twenty-five dollars, but I wanted to make sure I had a new, absolutely unworn one, so I was sure that I was uh, doing the right thing. But my answer is for if you want to get out the door pillar uh, lock bolts or any of the the big uh, stuff that's um, around T50 uh, this is the right socket in my opinion this is the right socket to do the job I would say is um, you know check your fit on your own fasteners and make sure that it works for you but um, I'm gonna use this to take the car the rest of the way apart